Hi, it's Kelly here from Spiritual Awakening Signs and it's 11-11. It's a very exciting time, a very significant spiritual date in our yearly calendar. It's all about that enlightening energy, it's about awakening even further and it's about that spiritual truth bomb energy that it brings to your life. It is a life-changing frequency, there is no doubt about that. So we're going to be doing a card reading today to help you to get some insight from 11-11, to draw from that power and to be able to make decisions for how you need to move forward in your life from here. Now, if you're watching this and it's not 11.11, or if you want to learn a bit more, we have an 11.11 masterclass. It's everything you need to know to align with its life-changing frequency, but more on that at the end. Now, let's get into the card reading. Now, what I like to do is, just clearing my cards, we take one card for all of us, going through spiritual awakening right now, and then I ask you to choose card one, two or three. You just intuit what feels like the right number for you. And we'll get the uh, message that you need to hear right now. Okay, so card for all of us first. Let's see what we need to know right now. What the 1111 energies have to share with us today on this very special day. Let's see. Oh, one's jumped out. Okay. Oh, interesting. Now this may be kind of backwards for you guys, but it's release and surrender. So it's very much about aligning with that energy it's about letting go and stepping into that energy and you'll see this picture is uh, really just an angel completely in the power aligned with the energy uh, really allowing it to move right through their system and also to be a beacon of that light now what I've been picking up from my guides about this 1111 energy is not that it's just about aligning with it for yourself for these life-changing frequencies for the changes that it can bring to your life it can really move you into higher vibrational living. But it's about becoming an 1111 awakener, if you will. It's about being that source of 1111 energy as you move throughout your life so that you are still a light worker, but you've got that energy in you that can help to activate and uplift others with the 1111 energy. And it's very, very powerful. So I see this card as a confirmation that we are stepping into that collectively. If you're a light worker, you're stepping into that. So be that lighter vibration, be that uh, be that source of uplifting energy that you can be. When you align with 1111, you can share it with others as well. And I feel like that's happening in a big way. I'm also getting a sense that when we do that, it's going to uplift uh, our vibration and our frequency energetically as well. So it's going to clear a lot of things out of the way. I see a lot of confusion clearing. I see a lot of uncertainty clearing it becomes uh, easier for you to know exactly what it is that you need to do to take the next step and it makes things simple because it just clears all the illusions and all the confusion out of the way so that you can see clearly that's what's coming up for 11.11 so very very exciting times so now let's get into your personal card reading so choose from card one two or three and let's see card number one what have you got today this is a great day to get a card reading. It's very, very powerful and very potent energies. Oh, that card's ready. Okay, let's see. Interesting. So what we've got coming up, if you have picked card number one, you have got a change in direction coming up. Now, I'm not surprised because 1111 energy does tend to bring that into our lives. It kind of jolts you awake. It says like, you know, here are the changes you need to make. Here is the truth. Boom, there it is. Do something about it. It's really quite an assertive energy very, very powerful. So this is where you need to start looking at what it is in your life that needs to change, where you want to go next. I'm feeling like it's about upgrading your life. It's about looking at the next best thing that you can do and aligning with that, deciding that you want, uh, oh, the energy that's coming in, it's new beginnings. It's all about new beginnings. And that's very much what this card is. If you look at the image, it's, uh, it's like morning light, isn't it? It's that new beginning, it's a fresh start, and it's about really deciding where it is that you want to go. Because I get the sense that you've been putting it off for too long. Maybe you've been stuck, maybe things haven't felt like the right time, maybe it's not felt possible for you to move into higher vibrational living. Well, this card tells me that now is the time, that the more that you align with that 1111 energy, the easier it will be for you to just naturally find your way to step into those higher vibrational uh, higher vibrational experiences. And I feel like the other thing that's coming in with this is solutions. There's a lot of solutions coming and it doesn't necessarily mean that you'll know 
all the solutions I feel like there is help there for you that will be ushered in by the 1111 energy and I'm also being shown that this energy will stay with you for at least three months the changes will be about a three month period where all those shifts are happening there's definitely a lot changing there and I also sense the energy of just being happy being invigorated being uh being excited about life feeling that life has more zest to it and being happy and joyful uh, joyful expectation about what's coming up next it's a very very positive card uh, and I'm also just getting the little hint as well because I can see that there's a children in this image what I'm picking up on is you need to look at what it is that you always wanted to be something that you always wanted to do maybe there's a dream that you've had since you were a child that's what this energy is uh, pushing at it's urging you to really identify what it is that is meaningful for you and to align with that spiritually, uh, emotionally, and in your life too. Just really aligning with that in a big way. I don't think it'll be as, as challenging as it has been in the past. If you find it difficult, this is when everything starts to clear. Fantastic card. Very positive energy. Okay, so if you chose card number two, let's see what the message is for you. Let's just see. Oh, it's jumped out. <laughs> Definitely wants to be seen. Interesting. So card number two, the message for you is to cleanse and detoxify. Now, what I'm sensing from this is that while this can be on a physical level, this can be something that you can do with your body, the way that you're eating, the exercise that you're getting, drinking clean water, you know, we, the things we all tend to want to do. But it's about more than that. This is about cleansing and detoxifying your energy, which means cleansing and detoxifying your life. So starting to look at what's going on in your life starting to choose to move away from things that are unhealthy, starting to choose to make better decisions. So it's really about a choice. Every time you're faced with a choice, you need to look, am I going to make the healthy decision, the higher vibrational decision, or am I going to fall into old patterns that have not been serving me so far? This is quite a powerful um, truth bomb, this card. It's really confronting you with what's going on in your life and where things are not aligned and are not serving you. So what this doesn't mean is that you need to cut lots of people off and disconnect from things or withdraw. It's not about that. It's about upgrading your life in a way where you look at what's going on, you decide if it's in alignment with you, if it's something that you really want, and you take the steps to clear the pathway. You take the steps to, to release anything that just doesn't serve you anymore. And it's different from running away. It's a sense of, do you know, that's just not in alignment with me anymore and I'm just going to let it go. I'm just going to let it move. <sighs> There's other things going on in this card as well. I feel like the more you can align with the 1111 energy, which you'll see in this card, this angel is totally a light. You know, there's a vibrancy coming through all these flowers. There's a zest to that 1111 energy. And what I'm being shown is that when you start to make those decisions, the 1111 energy is going to move into your life and it's just going to... Like, fizz through your entire life it's about being energized i feel like there's probably been a lot of soul level exhaustion there's probably been a feeling of tiredness with life fed up with the same old patterns this is going to shift all that it's about feeling completely invigorated and renewed knowing that you can step forward because you're motivated that energy is just enlightening you from within and propelling you forward into all these positive changes. I really feel like this can be a turning point in your life if you choose to align with it. If you really choose to make make that decision that I am going to allow the 11-11 energy to make those changes in my life because it's time. It really is time. And I also feel that when this happens, there will be a change in your emotions and in your attitude. It feels like there's a lot of stagnant energy around. A lot of stagnant energy, a lot of repeating patterns. So you might find that you fall into the same emotional state very often. There's a little bit of stuckness here. This is going to shift all of it. So make sure you align with that 11-11 energy and allow it to bring that vibrancy into your life because there's so many good things coming for you. I can really see that when you choose to make those decisions to cleanse and detoxify your life, to cleanse and detoxify your energy, good things are coming. There's a lot of uh, energy shifts that are going to be happening for you. Very, very powerful card. And again, like I always say, I'm not surprised the 11-11 energy is a force. It really is. Okay, so let's see card number three. If you chose card number three, let's see what message the 11-11 energies have 
for you. And of course, if you've been listening to any of these messages and they resonate with you, if you can identify with them, do let us know below. Um, of course, you can also tell us what your 1111 wish is, what you're trying to manifest. We love to hear these things. Oh, it's flipped over. Oh, wow. Okay, card number three. Oh, wow, you're in for an interesting time. Shower of abundance. Oh my gosh, such a positive card to get. So what I'm sensing is that as the 1111 energies move into your space, as you start to align with those more, it's like everything starts to shift. So I feel that there have been struggles, there's been obstacles, there's been challenges, there's been a lot of stuck energy. It feels like the 1111 energy is going to move that. And if there's been challenges with, um, this isn't always just about finances, and that's the energy that's coming through. Yes, there are financial things that may be coming into your life. There's definitely abundance energy and abundance you know it's like doubled um but it's more than that it's about abundance in your life it's about receiving blessings it's about things being able to change the word that's coming through which does align with 1111 is miracles you know look out for things that you hadn't expected look out for things that are happening that it's like gosh that's just such an incredible coincidence it's not a coincidence it's the 1111 energy it can spark and ignite this ability within you to align with what it is that you want and it's really an effortless thing it just seems to align things and they just seem to land in your life and it's like wow but what I would also say is that if you have any opportunities because that's the other thing that's coming up opportunities if they come your way make sure that you carefully consider them and if it feels right and if it's in alignment go for it because I feel that this is going to be a window for you where a lot of opportunities because of that 1111 energy are going to be coming into your life. And these will range from smaller opportunities to bigger, really life-changing ones. And you need to watch out for them. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to take every single one that comes up. You should always have discernment, think things through, tune in and feel if it's right for you. But I really feel like there are opportunities that will bring blessings and miracles into your life when you align with it. So watch out for them coming up because there's definitely a, well, there's a real power to that. It really is a very powerful energy and it's about creating shifts and joy. Joy is coming through like, wow, this great thing has happened and we're so happy and everything's wonderful. It's, it's like now is a time when you can easily align with joy. And I'm also getting a sense that this isn't just about on 11-11. This is something that might last my guide's told me this before, about three months, there's about a three month period coming up where if you stay aligned with 1111, you're going to find those opportunities, those blessings are able to move into your life and then it's up to you which ones that you choose. And I don't feel that this is going to be um, scarce. I feel that there will be lots of opportunities, but just make sure that you're watching out. Make sure that you are aware of those opportunities coming into your life and that you carefully consider them because I really think that these could be opportunities that are very much going to lead to higher vibrational living it's about taking a step up things happening and things changing choices and decisions uh, when you take opportunities that allow your life to take a step up or even multiple steps up where it's just like any difficulty that you've been going through it gets easier any challenges that you've been going through they start to dissipate it doesn't mean we'll be problem free because we're here on the earth plane and we've got stuff to go through but it does mean higher vibrational living is on the cards literally for you. So very exciting card, very, very positive card. And I hope that you can take from that everything that you need. Wow, what an awesome 11.11 uh, reading. I'm so excited to be able to share that with you on this very special day. And I have to let you know that if you are interested, we have an 11.11 masterclass. Now this covers everything that you need to know to align with its life-changing frequency and harness the power that's there right now. So what we're going to do is cover things like why it's a significant day. We're going to cover common misconceptions that can block 11.11's potency. You really need to know that. And we're going to talk about tips and steps that you can take. We have a three-step system to align with that 11.11 life-changing frequency and really bring it into your life in all forms. Now, if you're watching this and 11.11 has passed, don't worry. There are two things that you can do. So one is that the 1111 gateway is generally, it's most potent on the 11th of November, but for about a week before to a week after, you can still get lots of benefits. That's still very, very potent time. 
if it's out with that, don't worry because our master class will teach you how you can align with the 1111 energy all year round. It's about maintaining that frequency year round because that can be done and we'll show you how. So take a little look below and see if it resonates with you and we'd love to see you in the master class. Have a fantastic 1111 day and I'm sending 1111 blessings to you. Thanks for watching.